this is no honor and today we have our second fan mail so let's get into it so the first thing he sent me is the letter so i'm going to read it word by word answer his questions so hopefully that should be good so it's from adwar pandekar and he didn't understand when i said my real name my real name is atman double a t m a n i also leave it in the description down below he says that he's glad that i've made a whole video about his fan mail but what he's not glad about is how i answered his questions so he asked me why bolt action mod why not a pump action as in shotgun pump action and i did get it and for that i have this it's a 3d printed piece that goes down there and i still have to connect it to the main side so let me so that's that and uh, then he said um, that it was also a test for my blaster knowledge and uh, if i know anything i should know that the long strike is uh, underpowered as in the reverse plunger long strike and but uh, he didn't know that uh, if i specified was it the modulus long strike or the old long strike so i uh, whenever i mention a blaster in a video i'm mostly referring to its current and new form and uh, here i was but next time i'll specify uh, he says do you mod fly wheelers as in stock edge strike or things like that and yes i do so this is my hyperfire and i've put some laptop batteries in it so it's very loud but it shreds So if you want to see this thing fire stay till the end of the video and we'll show it fire Do you own any rare or expensive blasters Uh the most expensive blaster I have is the Hyperfire mm, No such rare blaster that I own Do I own any boom or stuff I did have two boom co pistols but they stopped working and were beyond repair so uh are you into air blasters no I don't own air blasters I think springers or fly wheelers that's my forte Do you own any rival blasters maybe a Prometheus Nemesis or a Perseus uh rival blasters are kind of tough for me because first they're expensive and secondly they're kind of banned at our games because rival blasters are like op they have like 100 feet per second and whatever we use even if it's modded it doesn't get to 100 feet per second so if one person has a rival blaster that guy is going to win for sure so no i don't have any rival blasters as of yet ever heard of the ultra one own one no i did see coop 772's video on the ultra one and it's just uh, distance isn't kind of that big for me i like to have fun and uh, rate of fire is a big thing but power also it's but distance no and uh, yeah he said that he sent a target with a sticker and his signature so let's see So this is the target. I'll definitely put it up on my wall somewhere here. Okay, thank you. And he says that if I might put up a go good mod guide, he might send me a blaster. So yes, I am planning to put a good mod guide on the strife that I have, and it's going to be very nice explaining everything step by step. Thank you for the blaster if you send me one. He says please reply with an actual letter. 
I will after this video goes out. I'm gonna be writing a letter in two to three days and uh, ma uh, mailing it to him. At the address he sent me. He says that uh, he has drawn the personal combo of the modulus ICS10. So it's right here. He's used the Titan drum, the 50 round drum, the strike and defend stock and the night vision scope, which is definitely practical. He's uh, used the barrel strike, the quad rolled thing. He's used 180 motors, which are fantastic. I don't have any, so. And he's used the bayonet for close quarter kills. So that's very nice. And he also sent me a nerf dart, just in case I need one more. So that's that for the fan mail. Thank you. I appreciate it highly. And now on to the second part of the video, which is to give you the part two of my room slash makerspace. So here we go. This, this is the entrance. I said we'd do a rope ladder, but the rope ladder kept crashing into the door and it was very difficult to climb up so we just have some ropes for extra support and uh, those ropes can also be used as pulleys for buckets then we have the sign and my bookshelf for anybody who doesn't know I like books and that's my play button that's for 150 subscribers. I'm going to write the wordings on it when we get to 200. So if you want to see that play button done, hit that subscribe button. The fan is in working condition. The tables are all done. We have electricity. And this is my favorite new addition. It's a cutting mat for mods and stuff. That's my modified hyperfire. These are the tables, it's my bayonet, wooden, custom crafted. We also have a softboard with my fan mail that I showed you earlier in the video and drawings of some aircraft. Here's my nerf wall and then we have the storage shelf. The great thing about this is below the tables we have this like shelving unit you could say. We have original darts up top, duplicate darts down bottom. This is just stuff that I own, cardboard and a hot glue gun. This is also stuff that I own. I own a lot of stuff. So that's it. Now we're moving on to the video where I shoot the hyperfire. It's gonna be sick. Supercharged hyperfire versus a beanbag. Let's go. And guys, remember 25 round drum. That's it. 25 round drum in that time. Awesome, isn't it? So guys, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications for a new video. And by the way, we upload a new video every Saturday. So if you want to see more just like this, subscribe. I'm signing out.